Hi everybody, this is Gigi from Kauai Community College. In this video, I will be talking about model drawing in relation to ratios. Okay, so let's get started on ratios. Okay, model drawing with ratios. Suppose you have um, something like this. The ratio of plumerias to orchid in a nursery is five to seven. There are 12 more orchids than plumerias. How many plumeria and orchid plants are there all together? Okay, so model drawing steps um, should be followed. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and write our answer sentence, right? There are blank plumeria and orchid plants all together, okay? Who and what are involved here? So we have plumeria and we have orchids. Let's start um, with having a bar for each one of those. And you should realize that right now they are the same amount, which isn't what the problem is saying. So we'll go back and digest the information. Uh, the ratio is supposed to be five to seven. Five plumerias is to seven orchids, right? So um, let's put some bars up here. That means five parts plumeria is to seven parts, five, six, seven parts orchids, right? And it also says here in the problem that are 12 more orchids. So that part right there is 12. The question is asking, how many are they all together? Well, once the model drawing is put on there, we can easily see that 12 represent two small units. So each unit must be six. So all of these units are six each, right? So then we would say, um, in total, you have 12 parts and each part is six units. Therefore, the total is 60 plus 12, which is 72. There are 72 plants all together. Nice, okay, let's try another one. The volume ratio of flour to fat to sugar in a basic cookie dough is three to two to one. If we have two and a half cups of butter, which is the fat, then how much flour and how much sugar do you need? Okay, did you know that that's how you make cookies? Three to two to one, right? That's the basic recipe. And then you can add on your chocolate chips or your raisins or whatever you want, your M&Ms, um, just so that you can make um, variety of um, types of cookies, but the basic ratio should be three to two to one. Okay, so let's answer the question here. Uh, you will need blank cups of flour and blank cups of sugar if you have two and a half cups of butter. Well, what is involved? Flour, fat, and sugar. Let's start them somewhere. One, each one of these get a bar, and we know that's not how it goes. That would be a lot of sugar if they're all evenly done. And um, the problem said the basic recipe is three to two to one. And there is that ratio. Also tells you that you have two and a half cups of butter, which is the fat. Okay, so two and a half cups of butter. How much sugar do I need? And how much flour do I need? So those are my question marks. Well, two and a half cups divided by two. Two divided by two is one, and one half divided by two is a quarter. So each one of these little units right there in the fat is one and a quarter cup, which means that right there is one and a quarter cup of sugar, and the flour would be three times one and a quarter cup. Therefore, you will have three and three quarter cups of flour and one and a quarter cups of sugar um, in order to mix that with two and a half cups of butter to make that, those cookies, all right? Now, when you're working with um, ratios, 
sometimes the ratio given to you is not very nice. For example, this um, problem said the weight ratio of a rib rub consists of four parts brown sugar, three parts kosher salt, two parts of chili powder, three quarter part of garlic, and a half part of black pepper. Why are, the, are there fractions in here? Well, let's take a look. Um, if we write down the parts, we have four to three to two to three quarter to one and a half. Well, how do we make that nice? Well, least common denominator is four. Let's be clever here. We can multiply everything by four so that the ratio becomes 16 to 12 to eight to three to two. And that is nice because you don't have any more fractions in there, right? So that's a trick. And sometimes you have to do that extra step in, in order to draw the models out um, nicely. And that is it for ratio. Math is fun.